Welcome back to the Grand Masters European Cup brought to you by the WGMA. Had one semi final in the over 60s at the European Cup, but this is the second one. Netherlands who finished top of their group against the runners up of the other group, Ireland. Ireland, like a bit like Germany in a previous semi final, had to do it the hard way, needed a point and had to come from behind against the Spanish. Netherlands were always looking likely to get through and finished top of their group. Well clear in the end of Germany. So then let's look at both sides. For Ireland, some really clever players in there and uh, very attacking minded. They can be pretty awesome to watch. Russell Clark is the top scorer with four goals. Billy Pollock is a player to watch as well. He scored six in 2015. He has got three so far in this competition and is a side captained by Keith Jess. For the Netherlands, Walter van Til with nine goals in this competition. And he is uh, running away with it with his nine goals. Uh, he's certainly scored a few. The next best is Martin van Rijn with four. But they have had goals spread around and scored plenty of them. Captain is van Rijn. So we looking to add to that tally potentially. Frank Weaver is the Dutch coach. And Roll Lock is the keeper. Christopher Townsend, incidentally, is the Irish coach. Both sides head into their huddles pre-game. And the officials cross there in their pink. Officials are Antonio Ptolemy from Italy. And the Australian umpire is Bruce Hockey. So England eased out the Germans in the end after a flying start, and then they were more 50 50 for the second, third quarter, the fourth quarter they were. Dominant again, certainly got their goals. Ireland to get us started in their traditional green and white. Netherlands in their white and orange. So Ireland get us underway then. Uh, going from left to right in this first period. And they've all flung down and wide here from the Netherlands. Here's Bart Crooning. Tries to be picked up there by Van Til and swiped across inside 30 seconds. And a couple of three good balls and almost the finish. Very quickly. Netherlands showing how good they are. for Helen taking their time trying to find their options man keel Weave and skill, Van Keel straight through. What a solo goal that is! Inside two heads, Chef Van Keel 
wonderful play all his own work and Nelan's off to the best possible start doesn't get much better than that for the whole team getting the early but for the player it's got a goal of that quality Right start here. Ball almost ready through. Now taken here by Van Ryan. Lovely off and heels in again here. Ho oh, ho, that would have been some start for him. One, two, three, Lincoln passes, silky stuff early on. Woken up to the game yet. Tim Myers trying to get away, he's got the free hit. Flag for Creeman and not quite getting Alan Wheeler. One, two, three, pass and ball forward. And it goes Van Rijn. Helen Van Rijn looking to control, but a turnover. And frightening how quickly Dutch get forward. for Van Til came up off the legs of O'Malley Van Giel Van Giel trying to thread it from Helen into the circle penalty corner six minutes on the clock that have been played first penalty corner for the Netherlands and there at Munin puts it on to Inject here. In fact, no, it isn't. Van der Meulen's in the five that are around the circle. Here he is. Cross Van Rijn. Bouncing and dotted away. Blackwood came off him. Well, we're a long corner.
quickly on with it. And it went from Van Claveren. Blackwood away. first couple of minutes. And that goes for the chasing Richard Clark. Island three hit just in the fringes of the twenty three. Blackwood down towards Myers. <laughs> and Bobby Van der Mullen giving away Clark to Myers. Jess. Three hits on the edge of the D. Attempted for O'Malley, intercepted, and there could be in trouble here. That's the pace of Chef Van Gale. Look at this, he's on that one run himself, trying to thread it through for Martin Van Rijn. Island escaped that manoeuvre. For us there, that was brilliant. Cross looking for Van Rai was Van Tell. Ten minutes in the Netherlands could have easily had about three goals minimum. Myers wasn't given away, and Tim Myers trying to battle his way through and slide it towards goal. And the first chance I would have had, they pinched the ball, they've scored it. And one of the real playmakers, Tim Myers, takes a big applause from the crowd. They are on level terms after 10 minutes. Wonderful cheer, wonderful noise. The Irish are here in big numbers. As are the Dutch. And that's uh, put a different complexion to the score of order. 10 11 minute period where I just mentioned Dutch could have scored these with three goals and now it's 1 1. It's more of a surprise for Ireland that Myers hasn't scored this week. That's his first goal. But it's uh, been a, a linkage and a set up player for few of the chances that Ireland have had this week has been a really great player to watch. Yeah, 
Taylor's starting to get himself forward. Here's Van Ryan taking it of Helen. Starts. Trickery from Van Gale. Oh, yeah, it's just anyway, it'll do. Through by Billy Pollock. Can he get it back from Clark? He can't. Mali. Oh, too much power there for Clark. There was an overlap there. Clark and Pollock on that left channel, left side. That goal just sparked a bit of extra confidence sprinkled into the Ireland team. Oh, Curran had to watch because Van Til has kept it in, Van Ryn coming in. That would have been a, a bit of a sore one for the Irish. And one back again, Van Gaal. Great challenge in from Eddie O'Malley. seconds, 30 in fact, left in the quarter it's been a great start to this other semi-final kind of felt the worst for the Irish when Van Gaal scored in two minutes, inside two minutes a mistake like Tim Myers through, saw a lot of work to do to slot into the goal for 1-1 one, one. Curran just looking to keep hold and clear for the hooter to go. And oh, the first quarter is here. And well, it has been a terrific first 15. Second Gill's goal in the second minute opened things up. And it could be two or three more after that. But Tim Myers sneaking in to score. And we have got a semi final on our hands 1 1.
in the first 15. Let's try to think. How long will the second 15 go? Highland won, Netherlands won in the second over 60 European Cup semi final. Winners will take on England. Netherlands looking to get their, their repeats of the final two years ago. Ludwig will play Germany in the third fourth playoff, which is the game preceding the final tomorrow. Van Giel doing well, Van Giel on another run like he did in the first quarter and scores a very similar goal, what trickery and skill, goodness me, what a start to each quarter he's had. It lifted a few people off their feet, certainly mine too, how good was that, picked it up, and Steph Van Giel with two goals of very similar finishes and both of the highest quality. And the Netherlands have probably the favourites from any people, say probably 90% of, although well maybe take out a few by supporters, yeah, but favourites very much ahead of this semi final. much on it. It's not like uh, Myers Van Gale has explored this section so really he has been a, a threatening player but turned up still of uh, like a Scottish porridge or something this morning because it's been absolutely sensational. Clavering, play from Janssen, cut through from Hillen, bobbing through and that'll be Ireland to clear. There's Myers, now we have to watch.
looking for the second way back. And they have the ball back. Wheel it. Can't link up with Clark because that dribbles way by. I think in some circles there is a real like chatter and iron maybe overachieving this competition. It's all gelling together as our side at this level. Masters, but they've done so well to get out of the group. <laughs> this is a base part of this competition very well. I mean, it's maybe too good the games. They couldn't quite get the job done. Scotland the semi final from 2015, not making it either. Germany wasn't through. So Spain and Scotland, two semi finalists two years ago, not involved. Ireland and Germany not in here. will be in the third fourth there tomorrow. Everyone's looking to try and get that rematch of the final from two years ago. Clavering, Irish defence scrambling, Hill in, prepared the corner, Tom Blackwood, took it very quickly there did uh, Sir Wellington, Ireland are always trying to scramble themselves back into the defensive shape. Inject here from from this penalty corner. Here comes Van der Meulen. Saves Van Til. Didn't quite get enough on that, and that will be an Irish ball. Oh, it's going away to Van Til. That goes into the side of the goal. Has been scoring goals for fun this week. Ball to Van Til. Then 
next lap. By Hale, not going to wiggle his way through that time. O'Malley has to get it off him. And he remains with the side leading this semi final. By Hale stops on slower. That pass is loose. Ball is a very good one. Whistles behind a couple of Dutch players, including Botslav. And Phil was, I think, in the centre too there. Turn in the pirouette from Klopp. Back in it to Cam. Akeel missed it. Play on, it's the Irish fault. But not for long. Akeel for foot. And they put themselves back under the pressure line again. Under four minutes left now, still half time. Akeel losing and says it was fair. This ball cut out by O'Malley. Which didn't really work. Going for the right pass. Too much on it for Billy Pollock. Just under a couple of minutes left until the half time break. Free hit, looking for a second equaliser. Here's O'Malley. They're lately carrying on. It's going to be a pair to corner to Ireland. And that's a big roar from the Irish contingent in the crowd. Off then, George Barkwood with the ball to inject. O'Malley to left of centre, Clark to the right. 
thought that I spoke to the right idiot. Clark, it comes to him. He hammers from Zai. And off the screen of the goal. Entries. Ford Clark trying to wrangle a counter attack into the final minutes of the quarter. Mali, he loses out. Tranquil. Tranquil on one of his solo runs on Clark. He missed the ball. It is through the tunnel of Van Til's student quite. Get his stick around it. That might well be the, that for the second quarter. So it has been a terrific watch this first couple of quarters. Ireland put up a game to the Dutch who are well fancied to make it to the final. Stefan Gill scoring a sensational score goal in the first couple of minutes. It's cancelled out by Tim Myers in the 11th minute. But Van Giel with a very similar terrific goal early in the second quarter gives them the slight edge here. The league is the best bet so far of the first two quarters. Half time, Ireland 1, the Netherlands 2.
Welcome back then. It is Ireland 1, the Netherlands 2 in this semi-final European Cup over 60s. The right to beat England is the prize. The Netherlands with the narrow lead and Van Rijn looking to get off to the best possible start here. Helen. Helen's trying to break through. Thank you. He can't do it again, can he? It is Van Keel. Oh, and try to set up a third goal this time. Just sailed a little by. Nathan's looking to build their next attack. Argy Bargy, which went Ireland's way, Clark. Well, I thought, well, he thought he did anyway, but it was really the you know, Netherlands ball. Skiffed away by O'Malley. Van Keel, Owen, Van Rijn, looking to twist, effort from Weefer, so, goodness me, how did that ball around bounce around, it was a pinball that, almost 3-1. down and turn from Van Rijn through and goal just about enough work done by Sean Curran to put him off I think and Williamson had to make himself big and goal First ball, couldn't find anyone but fresh air. If you missed it earlier, England can round out the Germans in the end to win by three goals to nil in the first semi final. If the Dutch were to win this, it would be a repeat of the final of 2015. Tim Myers back on and on the run. McRyan in front. Myers being pushed out wide, trying to fling it back only. Found Clough. No, 
Next up on this pitch it is the over 70s tournament trophy final. Southern Cross Blue of Australia taking the LX raid of England. Van Giel again trying to be a threat going forward. Again, space here, Botslap was at the back post. Oh, looking for Myers, but can quite trap it. First taking some time out. Walt to Van der Mullen. Turn from Van Rijn up against Curran. Curran getting that, and it's one way to get the possession back. Well, I thought he did, but he's right in front of Van Rijn. He to get it back, though. Turn from Van Gaal. The card showing. Green card and a couple of minutes in fourth breather for Roel Van Claven. Got maybe a chance here now. Extra player as you look to go forward. We have the long corner. O'Malley. Oh, and that's being pinched. Lager to Krunning. And Ryan couldn't quite control. O'Malley to find some support. Yes, yes, 
just under five minutes, four and a half minutes left of the third quarter. No change in terms of the scoreline. It will be pleasing if you're an Irish supporter. And they're still in this. And this may well be a card now for Ireland and O'Malley. So just as nail as we bouncing back to 11 aside in a minute or so. Probably just under that, in fact, within seconds of one starting, the other is finished. So it is now 11 minutes 10 in the other direction. Ball dribbled across, Helen couldn't quite get there. Crenning was actually coming at the far side if it was to come through for him. Here's Van Gale. Van Gale, skill time. It's taken on and scored by Theo Helling. He almost pinched it off him to see I'm scoring that. And he has. And maybe that green card has become costly. And it's a third goal for the Netherlands. Ireland, big task now to come from two adrift. Myers will try, but Vander Mullen takes that. Scorer. It'll be an Irish ball from that decision. On coming away. Pantel slices that one though. Well off target. Came up nicely for him. Ninety seconds till the end of the quarter. And then Mullen. We first. Keel played forward for Fenstra, taking it there as current. You know, became a bit static in that corner for both sides. Quarter is about to come to an end, and Ireland to a drift thanks to the third goal for Theo Hillen. The Netherlands in a good place now to reach the final. Hillen's third means at the end of the third quarter it's Ireland one and Netherlands three. That's a custom <laughs>
three quarters down, one to go, and Netherlands are 15 away from booking their final place again in this competition. An aggressive one there from Keith Jess. for Clark. No one in green able to pick up inside the circle. Van Giel. Space and time. Helen providing a run. I'm going to switch here for Kroonening. That'll end that move. if there is any resolve in this Irish side that haven't had tons of clear cut chances <coughs> they've kept uh, the score down and had one or two forays forward after uh, in the first quarter when they were in it <coughs> and even after the second quarter at half time 2-1 down kind of were trying to edge their way into the game but Netherlands have had more of the chances. Ireland feels like it is a tough task for them to get two goals, but you never know. But in touch, as the time ticks, they have possession, and that's a long ball here for Snetlager. And just behind Van Rijn. Just a little shove for Theo Helen. A dunt in the stomach. There it goes. And the layoff not quite coming from Vantel, like the support, uh, I should say, behind him. Vantel tried to. Play across behind him, it was uh, Snethlager behind. Dive a steal from Van Rijn. Helen. Van Giel certainly seems a slight dial down in the pace from the Dutch. Have the stranglehold in the game in the semi final. Van Klaveren. Snethlager. Almost, but not quite for him.
Clavel into Van Kiel. Taken there, Van Kiel from O'Malley. Van Kiel thought about the slide, but then decided to try and play it across towards the baseline. And the Dutch quietly put on the pressure, but as I say, it doesn't seem quite the same pace as what we've seen earlier in the game. Maybe they know that take a look for the Irish to come back. However, they do have it back here. And looking to get away. towards Wheeler there's the free hit for the side in green mm, it's just a slight difference between the two sides everyone's made less mistakes like that Ireland just running out of ideas a little bit not getting too many chances forward tiredness creeping in as well for both sides certainly been a, a pace drop off in this uh, final 15. Thank you. Everyone kind of stopped putting it bounce on his face, so we'll just give it back to the other side who were in pos possession at the time. Stealing it. Clark. Wheeler to the right. Mm, not quite again happening. Still only just the three bodies that were heading forward for Ireland. Five to play in the second semi final. Here from Clark. Myers 
bit disappointed with how that actually worked out for him. He came into a decent position for him. Second goal for Adam. We'll just throw that little spanner in the work, mate. Just uh, up the pace again. It's going to come back for an Irish free head. Wheeler for Clark. Another chance. Still losing the ball initially. Irish. Swiped across by O'Malley. No one on the edge of the D for Ireland. Now Van Rijn for the Netherlands. Helen and Ryan come together with Jess, the two captains, share a little hug. Jess was looking for Myers. Turn and pass there. He first to Van Keel. Van Keel looking for the hat trick. Keep on his dive. Van Keel taking outside the D. Riggles in, oh, kept it and kept it and kept it, I couldn't quite find the end product, he certainly had a stunning game particularly in those first two quarters. Pinches away. Irish free hit thought. Final 90 seconds. out there by Myers, but one back, here's Snetlager, keeper is out, Snetlager having a couple of goals and what to do, until brilliant tackling, even at this day from Sean Curran get a big applause from Chris Townsend, even though it will be defeat, trying to keep it down, Snetlager and that will go away from Van Rijn. And that will be that. Ireland provided us with some great entertainment to get to the semis. And gave up a good game here against the Dutch, who were fancied by many beforehand. And there we are, there's the Hooter. And it's a rematch of the final of two years ago as England will take on the Netherlands tomorrow in the over 60s European Cup. Yeah, Van Gale with two stunning goals for the Netherlands, two stunning solo goals with some great individual skill. He got his first in the second minute, but Tim Myers equalised towards the end of that first quarter. That Myers goal 
was one of the few chances that Ireland had, although they did try and grow into the game. Michael made it 2-1 in the 17th minute, and then Theo Helen pitching the ball effectively off Van Gaal to slot it in for number three in the 42nd minute. So Ireland won, Netherlands three, and it's England against the Netherlands tomorrow in the cup final. Ireland will take on Germany in the third, fourth playoff. So we'll take a pause for now. We'll be back in around about 28 minutes for the first uh, final of notes uh, for a few days anyway. We've seen some of the competitions be wrapped up over 75s, the women's over 60s. But we've got an actual cup final to look forward to. An over 70s tournament trophy competition. And it will be the Southern Cross Blue of Australia up against the LX Reds of England. Do join us for that. That will be on the way in around 20 minutes time. But we'll leave you with some of the best of the action from this game so far. Or now it has it finished, I should say. Ireland 1, Netherlands 3 finished here. <laughs>